There are so many things to see and do in Paris that it can be hard to choose or know what is a must and what is if we have time, especially if you're only here for a short time. So in this video, we'll share 12 top things to see and do so you can hit the main sites in Paris. We'll cover how to get there, how much it costs, and what to eat nearby. Are you ready? I'm ready. Allez, on y va. Let's go. The Eiffel Tower is the most visited monument in the world. But the funny thing about it is originally it was supposed to be temporary. Now there are two kinds of tickets to go up to the tower depending on whether you want to climb the stairs to the second floor or to the top. For the second floor, taking the stairs, it's 10 euros and 70 cents. And to use the elevator, it's 17 euros and 10 cents. And for the top floor, all the way to the top, it's 20 euros and 40 cents to take the stairs or 26 euros and 80 cents to take the elevator. And then there are skip the line or guided tour options, which will cost you a little extra, but it could be worth it so you can skip the line. Now we strongly recommend that you buy your tickets in advance for the earliest time of the day or book a guided tour to skip the line altogether. Now we put links in the description of the video to some of the tour options we recommend. To get there, you can take the Metro Line 6 and exit either at La Motte Piquet Grenelle or Beer And for places to grab a bite near the Eiffel Tower, you can go to Rue Claire or try Boulangerie Laurent B, which is just a couple of blocks of the Champ de Mars near the tower. The Arc de Triomphe is an amazing work of architecture with stunning sculptures and relief and an eternal flame and tomb of the unknown soldiers from World War I. It is a monument honoring those who fought in the French Revolution and the Napoleon Wars. And the 360 degree views from the rooftop are awesome. Also, the Arc de Triomphe is at the head of the Champs-Élysées, which is one of the most prestigious and luxurious shopping avenues of the world. Tickets to the rooftop of the Arc de Triomphe will run you 13 euros and a little more if you choose to skip the line option. Now the metro station for the Arc is Charles de Gaulle Etoile on line one. And for Champs-Élysées, exit at station Georges V on line one. Places to grab a bite to eat near the Arc is Le Drugstore for a nice sit-down meal or Maison Julambre for bakery street food near the Arc and Le Rollet de l'Entrecôte for a great steak and frites. The Notre Dame Cathedral is one of the most iconic symbols of Paris and of all of France. And most people know it from the Victor Hugo book, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. But they probably don't know that this medieval cathedral was in really bad shape, and it was the newfound popularity of the book that led to its restoration. Today, it's still closed from the fire of 2019, and a team of special artisan craftspeople are working diligently to restore it once again. And the target is to have it reopened before the Summer Olympics in 2024. And to get to Notre Dame, use Metro Line 4 and exit at either the Saint-Michel station or the Cité station. You won't need a ticket to see the cathedral once it reopens, but you will need a ticket to go up the bell tower once it reopens. And before the fire, the tickets were eight euros 50. Places to get some street food nearby include La Croix Bakery, Hooray, or Au Petit Cakes, all just within walking distance of the church. The Moulin Rouge is home to the classic Parisian cabaret and, of course, the iconic Can-Can. Going back to the days of artists like Toulouse-Lautrec, it was a place to feel free and be self-expressed. And today, the show collects top talent from around the world to tell the story of French history and culture through dance. To get here, use Metro Line 2 to the Blanche Station. Show tickets will run between 88 and 118 euros, but that doesn't include dinner and champagne. There is an amazing high quality restaurant inside the theater, but if you're looking for something a little more affordable, try the Bouillon Pigalle, which is just up the road. The Sacré-Cœur and Place du Théâtre are gems of the Paris experience. One of the most stunning views of Paris is from the plaza and stairs in front of the church. This is a playful, romantic, family-friendly spot with mimes, street performers, caricature artists, and a few scammers. When you think of accordion music, cafes and tourist stops, it's all right here. This is a must-stop on your Paris vacation. 
Now the metro station to use is Abes on line 12. Now there's no charge to access the Basilica and the Place du Théâtre. It's an open area plaza. There are fees to access the dome of the Basilica and those rates vary. Restaurant near the Sacré-Cœur and Place du Théâtre are pretty touristic. We recommend heading down to Rue des Martyrs for good options or au Pain Levin d'Antan Bakery for street food or Maison Millie for crates. Paris catacombs represent about two of the 200 miles of tunnels underneath the city of Paris. People often think it's a gothic or a dark thing to do, but it's really an archaeologic museum where the bones of six to seven million people from cemeteries all around Paris were relocated back in the 1700s. It's a well-lit and well-ventilated tunnel that tells a sacred story, and it certainly deserves to be included in the list of things to see in Paris. To get here, use Metro Line 4 or 6 or the RERB to the Denver Rochereau station. A full price ticket, including audio guide, is 29 euros, and kids from 4 to 17 are only 5 euros. But you can also get last minute tickets online starting at midnight on the same day of, where the adult rate is 15 euros and kids under 18 get in free. For places to eat nearby, head over to Rue de Guerre, which has many options, including the Café de Guerre. But there's also a McDonald's just across the street if you're traveling with kids that need a little bit of normal on their trip. Before the Louvre became the most visited museum in the world, it was a royal palace and home to Louis XIV before he moved to Versailles. The architecture and decor features alone are worth the visit. While it's easy to be overwhelmed by the 480,000 pieces of art in the 15 acres of galleries, don't let that stop you. This place is amazing. From the crown jewels to the Mona Lisa or Venus de Milo to the mummies, there's something here for everyone. To get here, just use the metro station Palais Royal, Musée du Louvre on line one or seven. Now tickets will run you 17 euros each. Kids 17 and under can enter for free. That gets you the entrance for a self-guided tour and you can also get some audio guides headphones. You may want to consider hiring a guided tour and skip the line option, which will run you a little bit more. We've placed some links in the description to tours we recommend. Places to eat nearby include Beau and Me for takeout or eat in, or Le Petit Vendôme just across the Place Vendôme, which is a lovely walk through a bit of luxury. The Jardin de Luxembourg is considered one of the top five most beautiful gardens in all of Europe. And it is a must stop for a casual romantic stroll or just to chill in the shade on a hot summer day. And it's a great place for kids and teens because you can run free, wander through the gardens, have picnics, and the pond where you rent little boats for the kids to go and play is just charming. To get to Jardin de Luxembourg, use Metro Station's Odeon with Line 4 and 10, or the Luxembourg RER Station with Line B. And the garden, of course, is open to the public and there is no charge to enjoy it. Places to eat nearby include Joel L'Atelier, where you can get a formula lunch for about 10 euros, and they have amazing sweet stuff in the bakery. You could also choose Solomon C Seafood Bar, where they have awesome mussels and french fries, or moule frites, or the Bar Au Père Louis for casual dining, a charcuterie and a glass of wine, and there's plenty of street food vendors all around. Located in an old, renovated 19th century train station, the Musée d'Orsay is the second largest museum in Paris and it's filled with amazing impressionist art, including Monet, Renoir, and Van Gogh. Now, the metro station to get there is Solferino on line 12 or Musée d'Orsay on RERC. Tickets for the Musée d'Orsay are 16 euros, and again, we recommend to buy them way in advance. Places to eat nearby are Les Antiquaires or Les Climats, which are both right around the corner. 
The Tuileries are the gardens from when Le Louvre was a royal palace. It has sculpture garden and tree-lined promenade and a great sense of peaceful luxury. At the other end lies the Place de la Concorde, which is the largest public square in Paris with beautiful statues, fountain, and an obelisk. And by the way, it's where Marie Antoinette lost her head in the French Revolution. Metro station Tuileries on line one or Concorde on line one, eight, and 12 is the way to get here. Now there is no charge to visit either the Place de la Concorde or Tuileries Garden, it's just open space. Places to eat nearby include Le Petit Vendôme for classic French food or Angelina for hot chocolate and pastries. Next is the Opera Garnier, and it's probably the most famous opera in the world. It is as much a symbol of Paris as Notre Dame or the Louvre or the Sacré-Cœur. And it's best known to Americans as the home of the Phantom of the Opera. Now the art and the architecture of this gem is definitely worth seeing. To get there, use the metro station Opera on Line 7. And there is an entrance fee for a self-guided tour, which is 14 euros. Places to eat nearby are the food court at Galerie Lafayette, which is just about anything you want. Of course, there's the famous Cédric Grolet and Pierre Hermé bakeries that are right around the corner. And for a classic French dining experience, try Le Grand Café des Capucines. The Palais Royal was a childhood home of King Louis XIV, among others. And as the residence of many nobles, it later became known as a village within a city, when shops and restaurants were added at the street level, making this the first of many covered passages in Paris. And today, it's known for its iconic striped columns and lovely gardens. To get here, you'll use Metro Lines 1 or 7 and exit at the Palais Royal Museum de Louvre Metro Station. And the palace offers free access for everyone. There's no charge to go there. Places to eat nearby are Au Pied du Couchon and Le Louchebem are just a short walk from the Palais in the Léal area. <laughs> 